YouTube, it's Christina here from K-Stone Beauty, and I really am excited to do this video. It's basically kind of how to get the perfect lips. It takes a lot of practice, and I'm not, like, amazing at it, but um, I just think it's something that could really enhance your look if you really are picky and anal like me, and sometimes I do this, and I did it today, so I was like, hey, I should do a video because it's really not that hard. You just have, have, you just have to have a steady hand, and... What I'm going to show you, um, I kind of did my lips today and webcam always changes the way you look. <laughs> so all those small lips out there, you know, I feel your pain. You wish you wish you had a little bit bigger lips. This is kind of my trick I do and I've seen a lot of videos on this. So if you already know, cool, this is how I do it. And if you don't know, I really hope this helps you out. Okay, so I usually try to find a concealer. I'm using my Sheer Cover Duo Duo concealer and I've used quite a bit of it. I got this from Birchbox or My Glam Bag or Ip Ipsy, whatever it's called now. I got it from one of those. And I also got a little mini one that I haven't used yet. But I really, really like this concealer. Besides my Maybelline one that go under my eyes, this one is really, really good for concealing, obviously, as what's concealer, but also for what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so I get my concealer. I use both colors because one is just a little too bright, you know, too much um, highlight. Um, I get some concealer brush. You can get a different, more precise brush, but this is kind of all I really have. And what you do is you put on whatever lipstick or lip gloss you like. I'm currently wearing um, the lip liner I'm using is NYX Peekaboo Neutral. I lined my lips best I could. Lining the lips is, is takes practice as well, so all you just do is, you know, line it around your lips. So it's not going to be a complete tutorial. Sorry about that. Um, I just don't have the best camera, so I might as well just kind of show you what I did um, a bit more briefly. Then over that, I use my Extreme Lip Cream from NYX, and this one's called um, Buttery Nude, and it's a very pretty color. It's a little bit more, uh, I guess darker in real in real life this is camera's not showing the best but I put this all over I put this all over my lips the best I could and then because I like to be this a little bit different <laughs> I use my MAC Viva Glam one from the Marilyn Monroe collection I put that on like the inside of my my lips to create some definition like some dimension so I like to do that I've seen people do a really good job with that and you can't really tell too much on this camera but it's pretty cool so get your concealer after you do lips, and I dab it on both sides, I dip it whatever concealer you like to use, and I don't have a camera, uh, camera, I don't have a mirror with me, so I can't really do it, but you just basically go right below your lips, right underneath your lipstick and lip liner, and you just kind of, you know, trace it around your lips. I start on the bottom lip and then I get another brush. I, can, I use my finger as well and I just I take that line because it's a very harsh you know defined line after you do that. I take my lip my lip. I take my finger and I just blend it out a little bit. Be careful not to touch your lips because then you obviously smear it. Uh, you blend out that line. I use like a small like this is a lip liner um, a lip brush and I'll take that also and help blend it then I also go on top. This is a little bit more of a tricky because you have to be careful how you do your cupid's bow, I think. I don't remember what it's called. If that's the wrong thing, I'm sorry. Um, but then you just line it around your, your lips too and whatever you have here, be careful because you can make one side look taller than the other. So um, then you do that. You, you use your finger. I, I feel like your finger is not as great on the top so I definitely use a brush to blend out the harsh line that you made. And that concealer would basically just take out any smudging from your lipstick or your lip liner because even lip liner can't be completely, you know, clean. And I previously put on some Burt's Bees chapstick, so it made my lip liner a little bit, you know, smoother, so it was not as precise as I would like. Concealer trick is definitely great for that perfect lip look, and I just think it's... Um, something that I don't do that often that I really want to do because it's just an extra step and it does take a little bit. It probably takes about five minutes to do so. Um, depends on how anal you are like me. But 
yeah, so all you really did need for that is a concealer that you like, concealer brush, lip liner, lip gloss, and lipstick that you like, and concealer, like I said, concealer brush, <laughs> and another brush to kind of blend out the harsh line. And that's basically how you make a perfect lip. And I hope this was helpful. Definitely comment below any more tricks that you, you like that you've done before. Um, but this is kind of what I do to make my lips look that perfect clean line um, makeup look. And this is a little bit more extreme than an average, you know, everyday look. But you could always do this as well with just your neutral lip. Um, just because it just really cleans out the line. I really like doing that. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this semi-tutorial. And I hope you all have a great holiday and I'll talk to you later. Bye.